In this class, we are going to look at the table organizations in Oracle's database and what kind of organizations are available in database that we are going to look. First of all, I will remove this. So, in Oracle's database, there are three kinds of table organization. That is how the data is organized within the table. One is a heap, another one is an index and the external. In this class, we are going to look at what is the heap. So, this is the default table organization method which is used by Oracle. So, which could be explicitly defined by writing this clause that is organization heap that is while creating the table. Even if you do not define anything, by default Oracle will add this clause behind the scene. In our previous class, we had created this toys table in our database wherein we had couple of columns in that and the data type associated with them. We did not add any organization heap clause, but Oracle at the back end what it will do is it will add this clause that is organization heap. So, what heap organization method will do is it will instruct the Oracle to place the data wherever it finds the space. So, it will place the data randomly anywhere wherever it finds the space in the memory. So, it is not organized in a manner. So, in most of the use cases, people use this heap method of data storage in database. Now, we will run this statement in our live SQL server. Let me just run this. So, we are getting this message that is table created. Next, we will run this users table as we are having only couple of tables in our database that is one is a toys and the toys heap. So, if you see we are getting only two tables over here in the response and only those many columns we are fetching. Here you will see all the details like if it is a external, if it is a partition or if it is a temporary, it is none of the above. Using the organization heap clause, we can create a table explicitly that is to store the data randomly wherever it finds a space in the Oracle's database.